And the deadly crash in Pawtucket wasn't the only case of suspected DUI here in Rhode Island overnight. State police arrested four other drivers, including a young woman whom they say was driving the wrong way and was more than twice the legal limit. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has details from the control room. Police expressed frustration to have so many DUI arrests and one alcohol-related deadly crash all in one night, particularly after they had just made a plea to the public not to drive impaired this holiday season. We're angered to be standing up here today. Captain Matthew Moynihan expressing some emotion as he speaks about four DUI arrests on Rhode Island highways overnight, including this woman, Brooke Morgan, accused of driving the wrong way while drunk. Plus, alcohol has been ruled a factor in this deadly crash on 95 in Pawtucket. Impaired driving is not going to be tolerated. Impaired driving has consequences and fatal, tragic consequences. Statistics show nearly half of fatal crashes in Rhode Island last year involved alcohol. There's no excuse for it. Eric Kramer with Mothers Against Drunk Driving says the most common misconception he sees is that people think they can drive after having a drink or two. They think they're fine, but... It's that mindset that needs to change. That's why planning ahead is so important. Just yesterday, police got together with AAA to urge people to avoid impaired or distracted driving this holiday season. And today, after arresting four people for DUI, police are again pleading with the public not to ruin the holidays for their family or another family by drunk driving. Uh, let's go out and have a couple of drinks and people aren't really thinking. And, and that's what we're asking is have a plan. Think before you get behind the wheel. And again, one of those DUI arrests was a woman allegedly driving the wrong way. Police say thanks to bystanders who called 911, police were able to stop her before she caused a crash. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. In addition to those two deaths overnight, state police made four arrests for DUI. New at 6, Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now with details on one such arrest that could have turned tragic had police not responded when they did. And police credited the eyewitnesses who quickly called 911 to report a wrong way driver on I-95 overnight, allowing police to make moves to stop her. She's traveling the wrong way on Route 95 in the uh, city of Pawtucket. 23-year-old Brooke Morgan charged with driving under the influence after state police say she was driving south in the northbound lanes on I-95 in Pawtucket just before 4 a.m. With the assistance of officers from the Pawtucket Police Department and, and their quick uh, reaction. They were able to stop that vehicle before we had another, yet another tragic uh, crash. State police say after they stopped Morgan, she failed a blood alcohol test. She was more than twice the legal limit to drive. She was stopped just two hours after this deadly crash in Pawtucket where police say alcohol was a factor. And police also arrested three other people for DUI on the roads overnight. Impaired driving has consequences and fatal tragic consequences. Rhode Island does have a system that detects drivers and alerts police when someone gets on a highway ramp going the wrong way. But police say more Morgan first got on in Massachusetts going the wrong way before crossing into Rhode Island, so they credit the public for alerting police. The public is our force multiplier out there. And so police are asking the public to be vigilant this holiday weekend and always by calling 911 when you see a suspected drunk driver. And it bears repeating police urge you to make a plan for driving before you go out to have a drink. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.